All right, welcome back to Alpha Entertainment. This is a pickup from the last video where I was showcasing you guys the intro of the game. Um, I've added a bridge that you could obviously see and a doorway for transitioning between areas. Um, there's a checkpoint that saves you as soon as you exit the transition area or the door or whatever. And here we are looking at the script for saving and the script for loading. And it's done in any config, which is a TXT file that stores either strings or binary values of variables from your game. That game maker can either write or read. So I'm going to show you guys how that works here in a minute. Um, I don't think I'm going to go over, thing, over anything else in this video, but... We're going to go over the SCR save, which will store all of the variables that are necessary for saving and loading. It's actually not as hard as it sounds, and I believe there's other videos. And we're going to also go over the SCR load or script load that will um, import all of the variables exported from the SCR save back into the game. Here is the saving, any underscore open, story data dot any, and it's going to write all of the real numbers or real values from these global variables and local variables for the player and for the manifest object. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. But when you use an any file, you have to close it when you're done, as you can see at the bottom for any underscore close, or else it won't complete the saving or loading. But this file, the story underscore data dot any, is going to be saved to the game's directory in the same folder or in the same location. And I believe it has to be like that or it won't load anything. I had to learn that the hard way. Really frustrating. But yeah, as you can see, this is this is pretty much how it works. This is a really basic form of it. I've used it in other games, but it was a lot more complicated than this. And we are also going to look at the loading for the story data as well. Here is loading that same file. As you can see, SCR load. It's going to read all the values exported in that any file, the story underscore data dot any. So instead of any write real, we're going to use any read real. And we're going to set all of the local variables for the player object from those values. The, uh, the stored area is where it's going to transfer us to after it loads, and then all of the global variables that set up the story. And we're going to close it at the end. Remember to always close your any files, whether you're opening them or, I mean, I'm sorry, whether you're saving or loading, make sure you want to close them when you're done. So now we're going to look at how the loading works, because that's really all we have to go over. Um, I'm not going to go over all the the heavy stuff, because that doesn't really matter. I'm just going to show you guys how that works. When you want to, I usually do it in scripts. So when I call the script to load the game, after all the arguments are done in the code, I simply call scr underscore load. And... You could just ignore the D3D viewpoint Z equals 32 because that's just the original height of the camera. And the room over there, room equals area. If you remember from the any file, that area was stored a real number for the room that it's going to send the player to after the game loads all the values. Yeah, it's really not that hard. It just depends on the kind of game you're making. Um, the built-in save functions don't really work, honestly, so I really would stay away from them. 
they're kind of arbitrary and they they just don't really work that well uh yeah i used to use them quite a bit but ever you know couple couple years ago i just started making games where the built-in functions just didn't work at all so i started using these but yeah that's pretty much it um I hope that pretty much got everything across. I mean, the important stuff for saving and loading it in any config file. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, just message me. Mm -hmm.